After I found out that I was HPV positive, Dr. Welt recommended that I would just be more closely monitored. According to current guidelines, we asked her to return six months later, and the results of her HPV were again positive, and her pap smear revealed a high-grade squamous intraepithelial lesion. That was worrisome for me. I had never had an abnormal pap smear, so I wasn't quite certain what to expect. But that, coupled with the fact that I was now HPV positive, alarmed me. Because of her abnormal pap smear and her positive HPV test, I did a colposcopy. A colposcopy is an evaluation of the cervix using a magnifying glass. When I looked at her cervix, I said, this is a perfectly normal cervix. I don't see any abnormalities. It was kind of an, an up and down seesaw at this point because I had tested positive for the HPV virus, had a negative pap test, and then all of a sudden an abnormal pap test, and then I was back to a normal colposcopy. But the HPV test was positive, which meant there was something there I needed to find it. I felt it was imperative that we evaluate the inner portion of her cervix because of the persistence of her positive HPV. He said to me that this time he was going to go a little deeper into the cervix and a little bit higher into the cervix. An endocervical curatage, or a little sample of the inner part of the cervix, revealed a significant abnormality. I must admit that seeing these results were quite startling. In fact, my first reaction was, are we sure we're talking about the same patient? I couldn't believe that we had such a significant lesion with normal pap smears. I spoke to Micheline and we discussed the fact that the optimum mode of evaluation was a leap cone biopsy. He explained that that was just a biopsy procedure where he was going to take a piece of my cervix and examine it a little bit further. And in fact, it revealed cancer.